In the next few minutes I'm going to demonstrate the Fluid Forms Libs parameter changer. This is something I use quite a lot at Fluid Forms because of course in order to create a fluid form we have to change parameters to an algorithm. The idea for the parameter changer is actually stolen from a node box and I thought it was such a great idea that uh, it's something which belongs in fluid forms libs. So now I'll show you how it works. Well, first of all we'll create our usual 3D hello world uh, program and processing. So. Just, just draw a box to start off with. Box two hundred. Okay, so that's our first three uh, D program and, and processing. Of course, we got some nice little functions in fluid forms lips. Of course, we've got to import the library first, and now we can set it up by passing our sketch into the fluid forms uh, object. And if we run it now, we have some mouse navigation, uh, zooming, panning, and so forth. So now what we want to do is create a fluid form and to do so we need a parameter. So note that um, we have to make the variables public otherwise the, the library can't access the, the variables from your, from your sketch. So if we take, uh, uh, let's make it a float. If we prefix it with a parameter, then it gets picked up by the parameter changer. <coughs> and we take parameter size, we stick it in our box. We run our sketch, and here we go. We've got a little slider with which we can change the size of our object. If we add another one, like uh, changing the color, I mean by Naming the variable in camel case, we uh, we can get a description out of the parameter name later. I'll show you what I mean. Color in red. If we got a bit of a render problem there. Okay, fill. So by defining the variable here using camel case, camel case is called camel case because we have these little humps where the capital letters are at the start of each word, then the parameter changer adds a little uh, space in there so that we can, the description becomes a little bit more readable. You'll see here that uh, the default value is from 0 to 100. Of course, uh, we can change this. Yeah. If we say uh, we define an array, which basically has two values, param color in red range, uh, say so it goes from zero to two hundred. 
155. We play this now. We should be able to make our box turn red. And indeed it does. So that's it for the parameter changer. Uh, actually, I can show you one more thing. The nice thing uh, about uh, having the interface in a pop up here is that uh, it runs on a different thread, which I can demonstrate here is useful if our sketch is doing programmatically intensive stuff. So if we go to, if we draw a thousand boxes, which uh, should provide processing with a bit of work to do, then we'll see the advantage of uh, the extra thread. If we see here, uh, not very responsive. Uh, okay, wait a minute, I'll show you exactly how responsive it is. Print frame rate. Uh, let's check it up a bit, so he's really slow. So, ah, now we can see the uh, writing of the box. What we've got here is a pretty slow frame rate. So, six, seven, eight frames per second. But the uh, the slider is uh, nice and responsive, which is what we want. Because when we're changing parameters, we want to uh, we want our interface respond to what we're actually doing. So that's about it. Uh, uh, jump in and uh, see what you can do with parameters and uh, fluid forms. Toodaloo, forms.